ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਸਮੇਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਥਾਂ ਤੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਦੀ ਐਪ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਜਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਾਈਵ ਟੀਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਕੈਚ ਅਪ ਟੀਵੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਅਤੇ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਵੇਰਵਾ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਐਪ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸੰਧਿਆ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਆਨੰਦ ਮਾਣ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਦੀ ਐਪ ਨੂੰ ਹੁਣੇ ਡਾਊਨਲੋਡ ਕਰੋ ਗੂਗਲ ਪਲੇ ਸਟੋਰ ਅਤੇ ਐਪ ਸਟੋਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਸਿੱਖ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਚੈਨਲ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ and sasika welcome to my desi wellness kitchen makkan is always joining me he was very patient for the whole year i hope you'll be patient and enjoying my cook shows a series of cook shows for 2018 always going for the healthy concept different uh, kind of cook shows happen lot of oils lot of uh, bad fats are cooked on very high heat i'm always looking and how can we make super foods or foods that have the most nutrients so today's journey is actually um vegetarian meatballs with zucchini spaghetti which has been uh, cut in long strings and we'll just uh, do a mild turka on that and take you on a wonderful journey of a tasty tasty veg meatballs so i've got my chopped onions which i just need about half an onion finely chopped any any large ones we'll have to put them back because uh, we want to make meatballs and then i've got my peas which are thawed and washed but not boiled raw as they are chickpeas 200 grams uh, blended in a blender you can even have this on its own it's so delicious Then I've got my best organic linseed bread crumbs all which I'll be using one toast of that one slice in goes in chives and this will go into my air fryer ginger garlic chilies half a teaspoon of each probably a teaspoon of chilies uh, green chilies because of the bread constitution one tablespoon of tomato puree and then go in all the other herbs which will be adding in a good 3/4 teaspoon salt half a teaspoon of garam masala a dash of black pepper warming i've ground this and stored it in a glass jar to keep the fragrance the highest then go in my other herbs which is going to be um we'll go through the garlic first and this will go into the air fryer just for about 6 minutes by then the zucchini uh, or courgette it's a actually american word zucchini here we would call it a courgette it's the same family two cloves and then just get anything out from the thimble because the most potent stuff is down there there and then goes in my herbs and which have been washed huh please we always wash our stuff and use it parsley fresh coriander finely chopped freshly done because you know if you keep it well before it so happens that the herbs dry up in the lights of the my studio kitchen wow the fragrance is already jumping if your child is conchore for herbs try to use dried herbs they have the same kind uh, they do have the properties or probably a bit of a concentrated but what is in the fresh herbs is the water constitution that all goes in there and then goes in half a teaspoon of bicarbonate and that's all going to be mixed up together to make the meatballs with very little water first let's just mix up everything together wow so aromatic amazing i'll be using 2 tablespoons of white flour here i'll be using my hands obviously 2 tablespoons of rapeseed oil i've got my air fryer already ready with the the foil ready on that so just bind that up no other water content to use no no other fiddling all set and ready so this will go into the air fryer just bind it all together so you can see the peas they are jumping at you they will only heat up take some rapeseed oil 
on both sides of the hand and start making the balls. You can, if you don't have an air fryer, this is okay to go into an oven. So something so small, just with one slice of good quality bread and just a half a bowl of peas, 200 grams of chickpeas, you'll be serving three people. And here we are talking about how do you make, you know, low cost meals instead of having to think about, you know, dashing every time out. You probably have bread. You'll probably, if you have chickpeas boiled, the night before or tinned chickpeas. I'm sure everybody keeps uh, uh, peas in the freezer. So, you know, these things are so handy. My idea is just to give you a variety of ideas of how to cook. Can be done in the oven at 180 degrees for about good 20 minutes. Air fryer is going to speed up my cooking process by literally half the time, less than half the time. Um, in about eight minutes, they should be wonderfully browned. So just make sure I've got an even mix for to make every each ball look alike. At some stage, if they stop sticking, all you need is more ribseed oil back on your hands and then the sticking process will start again. So it's very trouble free. So just from 200 grams, you can see I've managed to make three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really a generous helping for two people, uh, three people. So who says veget going vegetarian is boring? I called it meatballs, although most meats would be, meatballs would be of a non-vegetarian state. You can even prepare this the night before you're going to work and you can have them ready in the fridge as soon as you come home. It's ready to go into the air fryer. So after a little uh, break and washing my hands, this will actually go into the air fryer, ready to be uh, cooked with a quick stir fry zucchini needle and noodles. Stay tuned and we'll get the air fryer going. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be actually getting my air fryer at 170 degrees, 75 degrees, uh, preheat that. Each one of these will be going into the air fryer, which is already glazed with oil. So I'm just going to roll them up a little bit further. So now just glazing on each one separately. They're so trouble free and so carefree to make. We'll just keep them a little bit apart, giving them time, uh, space to swell as well because of the bicarbonate in it. Done. So let's space them out. And that, folks, in about eight minutes will be done, ready. We'll be then going into my zucchini noodles with a bit of chopped carrots in there, lots of green herbs, and then uh, do the biscuit, which is ready. It's going to be a wonderful round, gigantic biscuit, which will go into the oven. I have to make this dough at least uh, two hours prior to, uh, you know, molding it or shaping it out. So that's ready. The recipe would be given into the uh, uh, middle part of the show. Keep tuned and let's get the air fryer going and stay tuned for the zucchini noodles. Jiha, in literally seven minutes compared to 20 minutes in the oven, my vegetarian meatballs are ready. Uh, they look wonderful. They can be eaten on their own as well. I'm going to take them out, let them rest. So those will cool down. That is my star dish of the day. And then let's go on to the uh, zucchini uh, noodles as well. But first we'll go on through with the biscuit. I'm going to place that out because that needs time to cook. So I'm going to get my oven heated up. Like I said before that this has to be cooked in advance, uh, uh, molded in advance because there's butter. There's good amount of castor sugar, same amount, double amount of flour. Follow the recipe that will be given to you. I've got my base tin ready. Because we've used butter, it will have to be like for like. So we'll have to use butter on my uh, parchment paper. My recipe of this one was actually double the size. Something I've never used in my cook show is one of my favorite rolling pins for pastries and uh, one of my design makers. So we'll just watch that go through a wonderful transition. About four millimeters thick, 
will be the cut, uh, will be the thickness of the, the cookie dough. This is normally used for sugar pastry. So about a 4 millimeter thick dough has to come out from the fridge, but it should not be a stiff dough. Huh? It should be palliable, but when you first make it, it is soft. Once the butter molds up and cools, it should be unsalted butter. So I will be taking my tin upside down, checking that it is going to be a nice round shape. So just placing the tin and doing a wonderful clean cut because it is untidy to have it the way it is. Just going to make sure that I will be able to lift this up. Now taking my design roller and just starting from left to right. And that is my giant cookie. Once that is ready, the oven, the temperature as you see the oven takes longer to heat. The rest of those little ones, we can use some more flour and you get those little flowers and florets on the cake biscuit. That would be a cookie that you can dunk in your tea or have it on its own. So just waiting for that to bleep and that will go into the oven. That should take about 25 minutes to cook uh, into a wonderful cookie and uh, we will go into the zucchini noodles to do the meatballs after a short break. ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਸਮੇਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਥਾਂ ਤੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਦੀ ਐਪ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਜਿਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਾਈਵ ਟੀਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਕੈਚ ਅਪ ਟੀਵੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਅਤੇ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਵੇਰਵਾ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਐਪ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸੰਧਿਆ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਆਨੰਦ ਮਾਣ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਦੀ ਐਪ ਨੂੰ ਹੁਣੇ ਡਾਊਨਲੋਡ ਕਰੋ Google Play Store ਅਤੇ App Store ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਸਿੱਖ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਚੈਨਲ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ Uh, vegetarian meatballs, you needed the following ingredients. Half a bowl of frozen peas thawed, 200 grams of chickpeas pureed but coarse, one or two if they are small, slices of good quality linseed bread. Blend that in a blender to make dry bread crumbs. In the chickpea, add in the frozen peas, a quarter cup of plain flour, a handful of uh, mixed herbs as uh, coriander, parsley and uh, chives, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, one tablespoon of uh, tomato puree, garlic, ginger, chilies, salt, garam masala to taste and two tablespoons of rapeseed oil. Blend all this together, heat your air fryer at 175 degrees or your oven at 180 degrees. Make the round veg meatballs all of the same size, place them in the air fryer for about 7 minutes. Remove and cool them in a plate. To make the zucchini noodles, the ingredients are one zucchini shredded in your food processor in noodle form, two small carrots diced at an angle, take a pan with one tablespoon of rapeseed oil, temper in one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, onions, two cloves of garlic, half a teaspoon of ginger, chilies to taste, salt, garam masala as preferred. Add in the carrots first which have been diced at an angle. Just for 3 minutes stir fry them. Close the heat. Add in the zucchini noodles with any other herbs that you desire of parsley, coriander or mint. Take a deep plate. Arrange the zucchini noodles in the middle. Place the teaspoons of yogurt and chopped tomatoes on the sides with the veg meatballs on top and serve with lemon or a salad of your choice. A large biscuit that has to be chilled at least 2 hours before 
rolling out. It's a family size giant biscuit. You need 100 grams of unsalted butter, 100 grams of caster sugar, one tablespoon of egg free mix, 200 grams of organic strong plain flour, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix all the ingredients and store in a fridge for a couple of hours. Prepare a base tin of about eight inches with a parchment paper of oven temperature of 180 degrees. Roll out the cookie, shape it out to your desired shape of the tin and cook it for about 15 to 18 minutes till crispy. Serve with whatever arrangements you want to make with the hot drink and enjoy. Yeah, while our giant cookie is being cooked, let's get on to the zucchini noodles. So first I'm just going to slice my carrot. If you have a spiral cutter, which I have in my food processor, that does this. But the carrots were, I just needed some more body in the carrots. While my pan is heating up, the zucchini does not need to be more than just tossed. Do not overheat it, get the bite. Let the carrots cook in first to give us a wonderful color. So that was organic carrot. Root vegetables always make a choice of you doing organic. So let's get a dessert spoonful of oil, rapeseed oil in my pan, which is already heated up. In goes in mustard seeds to give it that little bit nice, wonderful taste. One teaspoon of jeera, cumin seed. Dropping in one onion, wedges. Red onion or white as preferred. Then taking my garlic. Because the zucchini is just going to be a stir fry so fast, julians of ginger, a good handful, and the fragrance can sometimes be quite strong to the throats. So, julians of carrots, look at how the whole chemistry has changed. Half of this strands of uh, chives, giving it wonderful color, a teaspoon of tomato puree even carrots folks are just being heated through huh keep the bite do not kill the vegetables when we do that we have demineralized the food and that's when you feel more hungry now goes in the salt and the garam masala half a teaspoon only garam masala to taste I'll be taking uh, the mozzarella cheese, just cutting it in quarters while the tomatoes are, uh, the onions and carrots are cooking through. And really, I need to now switch off. And that's job done. Do you remember, there's still heat on the ring and there is heat in the um, pan. As I've already garnished my uh, carrots, all I'm doing is a stir fry. Taking my plate for the garnish, just to give it that little bit of that kick, a bit of lemon juice or lime, very good vitamin C. And without having to use a flour base noodle, we've done vegetable. I've got good quality yogurt. So just going to put dollops of yogurt around where the meatballs are going to be resting on to give it that wonderful creamy taste. So a bit of tomatoes, plum tomatoes which have been de-seeded and create such a wonderful, within seconds, I've created a wonderful colourful dish for you, tantalising for the taste buds, great look for the eyes. And in each area, veg balls, coriander, 
bit of parsley to give that wonderful green look and food is just coming out of the plate jumping at you to say taste me taste me stay tuned and let's we'll wait for the cookie to be done and that will go into the plating section after a short break <music> jiha bleepers going telling me it's ready so i've got a giant cookie and i've got a small cookie this will take about 10 minutes minimum to cool so decoration as per your choice folks that you like let's go into the giant cookie now so while it's warm we do need to set it and cool it i've got my template i'm going to place my template there take a bit of cocoa powder decoration to your choice folks that you like there is no strict rule and regulation although this is a brown cookie you can still see the the floral design and that's dark chocolate i hope you enjoyed this cook show it's a trial lots of errors we all learn through different recipes that we create and i hope that you will be able to mock and make this giant cookie to make it in place of a cake or any birthday celebrations or kadya kushia with this happy note may i say thank you for watching my cook show and i'll take you into another series of another grand cook show of taking you to madras and it's something delicious and an absolutely wonderful cake to be served with three different jellies stay tuned into the next cook show goodbye and sat sri akal अकाल चैनल नो सब्सक्राइब करो नवी वीडियोस दी नोटिफिकेशन दे ले बेल आइकन नो क्लिक करना ना भूलना